I've been involved in, bringing scientists together from a variety of countries and helping them analyze their data to see what's going on in the precipitation records. One of the characteristics of precipitation data we see um, coming out is that heavy precipitation events are becoming heavier. Every part of the country has been showing an increase in the heavy rainfall events, but not all the country is changing the same amount. The increase in New England and the Northeast, it's increasing most dramatically. It starts approaching late tomorrow by 11 or 12 o'clock tomorrow night. I think we'll see some showers and thunder showers. You know, the old farmer's joke is, you know, I, did, I, I know I needed rain, but I didn't need the whole year's worth in one night. Rainfall doesn't just come in steady amounts, it comes in big convective thunderstorms. And if, if you have a supercharged atmosphere with more water vapor in it, then you're going to end up seeing more of these kind of events. One question I have right now is if indeed by the end of this century we've warmed up two or three degrees, then the wind field across the planet, especially in the mid-latitudes, is going to be lighter, so these storms are going to be moving slower. And they're also going to have a lot more water vapor to deal with. We could actually see an increase in flash flooding, severe flash floods. A lot of people wonder how global warming can lead to more heavy rainfall events and more droughts. And the answer is really, if you start thinking about a clothes dryer, it dries the clothes, and the way it dries the clothes is it pumps air through them, but it also heats the clothes. So when you take the clothes out of a dryer, you feel they're really warm. The reason it warms the clothes is because hot air can absorb more water vapor. So as the climate warms, you have a potential for more droughts as there's more evaporation. But then if there's more water vapor in the atmosphere and something comes along to trigger it like a cold front, you have the potential for heavier precipitation events as well.